evening, brothers and sisters. We just finished our Easter Vigil Mass, and um, I actually um, chatted some of my FB friends um, regarding the question, who is God in your life, especially in the context of the pandemic that is happening to the whole world right now. So I'm going to share to you their answers. God is my comfort zone. He's like that close friend you can always reach out to whenever you need him. Whenever I feel anxious, tired, or lost, I just think about him and all that disappears. It's good to know that there is someone looking out for you. And it's good to know that he's looking out for you. Honestly, I don't know what the future holds for me or what tomorrow will bring. But just knowing that he's by my side brings comfort and gives me assurance. And I think everybody should remember that especially in this pandemic we're in. During times of crisis, we just need to stay strong and keep our faith high. My friend, a oh man, yet a God, he is my friend. A servant, yet a king. Ang akong ginoo kay siya mao ang akong protector, ang akong provider, ang akong wisdom, ang akong strength, ang akong savior. Huwag dili na kumahin mo ang tanan-tanan kung wala na ko siya himo ang sentro sa akong kinabuhi. Huwag siya ang hari sa tanang hari or king of all kings. Huwag don't be afraid, just believe. At huwag yung isalig niya tanan. Huwag dili ta ang ngayong hadlok. Who is God in my life and why? God is the Lord Jesus to me, the only Savior. He is someone I can confide in Someone who's there even in times when, you know, I feel alone. Now, I hate to admit though that it seems so easy for me to get distracted by things that make me feel anxious. Sometimes it's like life's problems blind me from seeing him. But when I really stop and think about it, he's actually the storyteller of my life. He's larger than life and all the big and little problems that come with it. Now. Although I personally have no concrete idea what his plan is for me and my life, especially, you know, with the pandemic situation and everything, I think that I just need to trust him. I think we all need to get back to reflecting on him and what he has to say to us. Not just in scary times like this season, but also to celebrate times of happiness with him. He is the most important person or spiritual being in our lives. He is not showy, but he is there to help us, to guide us. We always ask a lot of things from God. It is up to you to listen, to hear what he says to us. Ang Diyos ang aking pader, siya ang aking muog, Sa kanyo ko lang itutuon ang aking paniniwala. Kahit anong pagsubok man ang dumating sa aking buhay, lalong-lalo na sa panahong ito, laganap na ang sakit sa buong mundo, siya lamang ang aking lalapitan, siya lamang ang aking hingan ng tulong, sapagkat alam natin na ang Diyos ay mahabagin. Kaya purihin natin ang ating Panginoong Diyos. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you will um, keep watch of our upcoming videos. I'm not really a blogger, but at this point in time, I think I have to share something. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed viewing this. Please subscribe to our um, channel and God bless us all. Thank you.